think about uh, uh, you know getting on their knees and praying for these people. You know, there's not a lot of talk about this. Uh, but uh, what I've gone ahead and done, uh, Carl, is I have uh, formed a a, um, a uh, prayer support group for the uh, cold case posse here. And uh, so what I've done is I, I've uh, started this group. It's on Facebook, uh, and it's a it's a, a social networking uh, outreach. And uh, people are joining it up now already. I just it's just only an hour old. Yeah. And essentially, you know, what we're talking about here is is. Um, uh, and this may sound, this may be a little bit on the morbid side, but uh, people have turned up dead uh, who have opposed this man in the White House. Yeah. And uh, and uh, you know, f- forgetting uh, forgetting Fuddy for a moment, uh, even though that is as mysterious as that is, uh, many people will remember Andrew Breitbart. Right. And uh, and uh, his uh, mysterious death back in March. Right. A couple of years ago. And that happened just a day or two before he said that he had some amazing stuff to reveal about Obama and his administration. And then, He died on March 1st, yeah. which, uh, and he died late at night. Uh, he was out for a walk, and uh, he, they found him dead in the street. And I can tell you this, uh, Michael Savage went on the radio after that death, and I heard him say this over the air. So this is not Internet rumor. I heard Michael Savage say that um, Andrew Breitbart was in his home just days before his death, apparently telling Savage either what he knew or basically was giving him hints, and Savage told him, they're going to kill you. You need to be careful. And a few days later, he was dead. Now, now we're well, not saying we're not saying I'm not saying anybody killed Michael. Uh, right. I mean uh, Breitbart. Right. Uh, but but I'm saying that's what Savage said over the air, something like that. And I'm paraphrasing. Again, I can be corrected on details. But Michael Savage said something like that that he was in his home and he warned him, man, you're, you're on dangerous ground. And a few days later, he was dead. So I hear you. And after the death, uh, a week later, uh, a coroner in the uh, LA coroner's office was found dead. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, so, the, so the, this is there's a lot of a lot of a uh, death surrounding uh, you know the people in opposition to the Obama uh, you know agenda here, right? So and, so we, what we've done and, is we've gone and we we started this uh, this uh, Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash cold case posse prayer support group. Facebook.com slash cold case posse prayer support group. Join up and uh, we're looking for prayer warriors to uh, cover this. Right, in right. Prayer. I know that uh, Mike Zulo himself is a man of prayer. Uh, now, I wouldn't want to mess with those guys personally. They're, they're well protected. They know how to protect themselves, uh, probably better than uh, Andrew Breitbart did. Right. Uh, but, however, you know, let's, let's, um, let's put a covering of prayer on these people, both for their safety and for their success. Right, right. I mean, you know, the Bible says in the last days that people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Right. And, and... Uh, so, right. And so, and so let's, uh, let's all get together here, you know, those, those of us who... Um, you know, they need money, of course, but they also need prayer, and let's get together and right. do that. So right. uh, join us up on the Facebook page there, and join in, and, and uh, let's just, uh, you know, hold our hands, uh, proverbially speaking, right. hold our hands together and, and pray for these people, right. you know, because people are scared. You know, one of our P.P. Simmons operators, Carl, our, 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 our operatives, um, he called into the uh, Jay Seculo show. Jay Seculo, the, he's, right. the, um, he's the lead counsel for uh, American Center for Law and Justice. And uh, Chris Farrell, Chris is one of our, our contributors to our blog, and, and he's an he's a awesome, uh, awesome thinker. And uh, he likes to call in and spread the word, you know, <laughs> to right. spread the good news, you know. And, uh, and uh, he's very well-spoken, and he's a great spokesperson for the cause. And he called into the uh, Jay Seculo show and said, look, uh, you know, how come you guys aren't covering this? And Jay says, look, this doesn't matter. Obama's eligibility doesn't matter. None of this matters. And uh, you guys are wasting your time on the eligibility thing. Right. So, we, so people are afraid, and he said, you know, Obama's the president, and we have to respect the office of the president. Well, listen, I've got a message for people out there. If you are going to truly respect the office of the president... It has to be legal. <laughs> you know, let's get, let's, get, let's get this job done here. Right. I mean, right. Let's, let's deal with this. The guy is a fraud. He does not, he's not eligible to hold the office. Right. Well, let me interject here for just a moment. Uh, Mike, first of all, Jay Sekulow, I, I admire a lot of the work that he's done over the years. And, uh, but I, was, I listened to that segment uh, where Chris called in. I, I was completely blown away by Jay Sekulow's attitude. He was ugly to Chris, I thought. Actually, actually, he tried. He talked down to Chris, yeah. as though Chris were just some kind of nut. And here's sure. the thing, Mike: you and I know, and Zulo and Arpaio know 
that very soon the these guys Jay Sekulow, um, uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly, uh, you know Sean Hannity. Uh, what's the guy uh, up north that's a lawyer? Has got a TV show. I mean a radio show that's so popular. Oh, I can't think of his name. He and Hannity were big buddies. I can't even think of his name right now. Mark Levin. Mark Levin. Oh, yeah, I mean yeah, all yeah. of these guys are going to look like utter idiots when this information comes out because they've got the goods they've got stacks and reams of documented evidence not just hearsay i mean they've got a criminal investigation going so these guys are going to eat a ton of crow and, well, and they're all they're all seem to be congregating over there at fox news right yeah well and they seem to all be terrified right. of, of even reporting of doing right. what the news is supposed to do where have the real men gone in this world where, where are they anyway? gone what's that all about anyway i don't, know. I, don't well, know I know well and the other thing i want to make clear and we got to take a quick break yeah. but the other thing i want to make clear is that I, I am not saying and i don't think you are either and you can speak for yourself we're not saying that these mysterious deaths are directly linked to the Obama administration. We're not saying that. We're not saying that somebody in Obama's administration killed Andrew Breitbart or Loretta Fuddy. We're just saying that it's it's just weird. It's uh, uh, um, you know you, you've got Fuddy who 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 certified the birth certificate, and you know just a few months before Arpaio's coming out with his stuff, uh, the one woman who could kind of you know, <laughs> spill the beans on this or not, uh, she dies mysteriously. You know, Andrew Breitbart, just a few days before he comes out, he announces that he has information that's going to completely sink the Obama administration. You know, he tells Michael Savage, his friend, this. Michael says, man, be careful, be careful. Well, you know, you, you, some, something's going to happen to you. And days later, he's dead. So we're not saying, we're not making an accusation or an allegation that anybody in the Obama administration was directly tied. We're just saying these deaths and their timings are very, very weird and, and strange. And there were people in his own church who died. Uh, one of the worship, one of the persons associated with the worship uh, in the church had died, and there was some connections to Obama's gay past there and the, and, the, and the gay bathhouses. And, you know, there's just so much to look at here. People ending up dead who, people with information about this man... I want to tell you guys, people with information about this man, now, now Carl won't say this, but I'm going to say it, people with information about this man are in a precarious position, and we need to launch a prayer support around, uh, yeah. uh, around uh, Zulu and Arpaio, because even though it's possible that Obama and his people are not doing this on purpose, there is certainly a demonic aspect to this, and prayer will, will route that. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, away from God's people. And in the, at the end of the day, we're going to get something done here. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to commend you and the folks at P.P. Simmons for starting this prayer uh, ministry over this whole thing because it is coming down to the hour. I mean, to Mar March is right around the corner. And as you just heard Zulo say, and I was saying, I mean, it, it, I, I, I'm, I don't know. He didn't give me this percentage, but it sounds like about a 90% chance is going to come off in March. But it could be a little bit later simply because yeah. the evidence continues to mount. And, and and, you know, Mike Zulu talks to me about these things, and I know what's going on, and it's overwhelming. It's unbelievable and uh, universe-shattering. And so if yeah. we need to wait till you know, April or May or June, I mean, I'm, those are not Zulu's words. These are mine. If we need to wait till then to get this out and to, and to get it out there good so that the world knows it, I, man, I'm cool with that. But well, this right, is not tabloid journalism. No, right? no. People, people want to read this and as they're checking out their, their margarine in the grocery aisle. This right. is not tabloid journalism. This is a criminal investigation against the president. The United States and his people. And using uh, Mike Zulo's words, universe shattering information. Right. So, I mean, this is, like you said, this is not tabloid journalism. This is, when it all comes out, we will be vindicated. And I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm fine. I mean, I don't mind waiting. I've got patience. I, I was a cop for years. I know how this stuff works. Yeah. But anyway, listen, we've got to take a time out, Mike. Let's, let's take a quick time out. We'll come back with more. You're listening, Freedom Friday, Carl Gals. My guest this afternoon, Mike Shoe Smith. Aren't you glad you're listening? We'll be right back. <laughs> 